In this video, I'm going to show you how to download mods for Minecraft 1.21.9. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment, where it is going to bring you to a website where you're able to find a written step-by-step -step guide along with the links to all the necessary files and tools that you will need. So step number one is to install a Minecraft mod loader. Now a Minecraft mod loader is what is going to allow you to run mods in the first place. So this step is very important. Now there is many mod loaders for Minecraft out there, but the three main ones are Forge, Fabric, and NeoForge. Now for this video in particular, we're going to be working with Forge because that is the most popular mod loader out there and a majority of popular mods actually do run on Forge. So that's why we're going to be working with Forge throughout this video. But I want to let you guys know that you guys also have the option to install the Fabric mod loader and the NeoForge mod loader right over here. So anyways, again, we're working with Forge for this video. So let's go ahead and select on Download Forge from here, just like so. Then all you want to do is you want to go to the left menu and you want to select on Minecraft version 1.21.9. Now, at the time of recording this video, Forge hasn't updated just yet, but by the time you see this, chances are it's already been updated for 1.21.9, but regardless, the process is going to be the exact same. So even though we're downloading it for Minecraft 1.21.8, it is going to be the exact same thing, except it is just going to say 1.21.9. So anyways, all you want to do is you want to select on download latest and make sure to press on installer just like so. Then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this and make sure you don't click on anything. All you need to do is you need to wait around five seconds and then you're going to see this button over here that says skip. Then you want to go ahead and press on skip just like so. And now it is going to install the mod loader. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about symbol game hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to set up a 24-7 unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that you're easily able to play mods, mod packs, and plugins with you and all your friends. So any mod that you're trying to download, you can have more fun by playing it with your friends using a Simple Game Hosting server. And they make everything incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to locate the Forge installer just like so. Depending on your web browser, you may be able to see it on the top right like me, but if you don't see it for whatever reason, what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. But anyways, all you want to do from here is you want to drag and drop the Forge installer to your desktop just like so. Okay, once you're done with that, please return to the website that we did start off with and let's go ahead and do step number two, which is to download a mod compatible with our mod loader. So go to this link over here that says find mods on CurseForge and CurseForge is like a really reliable and safe website where you're able to find a bunch of the popular mods and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and select on it. And what you want to do from here is you want to go to left menu and you want to make sure you do locate filters. So make sure that underneath mod loaders, you select on the mod loader that you're working with. So again, for this video, we're working with Forge. So just make sure that Forge is selected and where it says game versions, make sure that 1.21.9 is selected. But remember, we're working with 1.21.8. So I'm just going to select on that. And then over here, it is now going to show you all of the available mods that you can go ahead and install. Now, for simplicity purposes, I'm going to be downloading the Xarios minimap mod. So just search for the mod that you would like to download. Then you want to go ahead and select on game versions just like so and select on your game version. So you can do it for 1.21.9 right over here. Anyways, once you're over here, please make sure where it says mod loaders that Forge is selected or whatever mod loader you're working with. And also make sure it does work with your Minecraft version. So as you're able to tell, this one actually does work perfectly. So all you want to do is you want to press on these three dots, then go ahead and select on download file. All right, now you may get this issue over here. So just make sure to go ahead and press on download file just like so. And then afterwards, what I recommend that you guys do is drag and drop the mod file to your desktop just like so. Then go ahead and return back to the original website that we did start off with. And the next step is to download Java if you haven't already. So in order to run mods or anything like modded Minecraft related, you're going to need Java in order to run it. So if you haven't already installed Java, please go ahead and select on this link that says download Java 21 here. Then it is going to bring you to a website that looks like this and make sure that JDK 21 is actually selected. Then over here, please go ahead and select on your operating system. So we can download it for Linux, Mac OS or on Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I will go ahead and select on Windows. Then I would go ahead and download the x64 installer. 
then it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard, the process and stuff like that. And you may need to restart your PC in order for Java edition to be applied. So please be prepared to do that. And it really shouldn't take too long and is completely free as well. But anyways, once you went ahead and installed Java, you can go ahead and return to your desktop. So at this point, we should have Java installed. We should have the Forge installer or whatever mod loader you decided to go with and the mod of your choice. Again, for this video, we're working with the Xarios MIDI map. So what you want to do from here is you want to go to your Forge installer and you want to right click on it. Then you want to press on open with. And if you did download Java, like I previously mentioned, then you're going to see this option that says Java TM platform as a binary. And all you want to do is you want to press on it just like so. Then make sure that install client is selected. Then go ahead and press on OK. It is now going to be downloading Forge for you. All right, then it is going to say successfully installed. Then just go ahead and press on OK, just like so. And then afterwards, all you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. All right, guys, so here we are in the Minecraft launcher. So please make sure that Java Edition is selected. Then all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and press on installations. Then where it says versions, please make sure that the box that says modded is turned on because this is considered a modded version of Minecraft. And then in this list, you should see Forge right over here. So yep, here it is. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to this option, the little folder icon, and it is going to say open installations folder. From there, go ahead and open it up. And then all you want to do from here is you want to scroll down until you find the folder called mods in all lowercase. And if for whatever reason you don't see it, what you could always do is right click on it, press on new and then folder and then call it mods in all lowercase. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to double click on the mods folder. And from here, what you need to do is you need to drag and drop your mod of your choice, whatever mod you decided to download. So again, for our video, we downloaded the Xarios minimap mod and it is right here. And then you just want to drag and drop it just like so until it is inside the mods folder. Okay. Then afterwards, you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder, return back to the Minecraft launcher, then go ahead and select on play in the version selector. Make sure that Forge is selected. Then go ahead and press on play, press on I understand, and then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys. So here we are, Minecraft Java Edition. You will notice that it will say Forge, and then it will say we have some mods loaded in. And all you want to do from here is just load into any Minecraft world. All right, guys, and as you're able to tell on the top left, we do have the mini map completely working. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.